Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make some cool wooden toy airplanes. Let's get into it. I got the idea for this project when I saw Steve Ramsey's video over at Woodworking for Mere Mortals. He did the same project a little while ago, and he made the plans free to download on his website. You can also use these as your template because they are to size. After cutting out a few copies of the template, I use some spray adhesive to glue them to the wood. I'm going to be making two planes. The first one, I'm going to follow the plans pretty much exactly how they are. The other one, I'm going to add a few tweaks to to make it my own. I'm going to be using a bandsaw to cut out all my pieces, but you can also use a scroll saw, or a jigsaw, or a seesaw! No. After rough cutting all my pieces on the bandsaw, I use my bench sander to work right up to the cut line. If you're going to be making this plane for a very small child that will put it in their mouths, then you need to make sure that both your wood and the finish that you're using are food safe. For the first plane, I just added a coat of stain, but the second plane, I decided to hand paint. Before putting the axle in for final assembly, I made sure to add a little bit of wax so it will spin freely. You can easily cut out your own wheels with an inch and a half hole saw bit, but they're really cheap on Amazon and I have a few other projects I want to use them for, so I went ahead and bought a bag of them. I made sure to wallow out the hole a little bit on the propeller, that way it would sit loosely on the screw and be able to spin freely. Alright, both our planes are finished. I really like the result. They both came out really nice. It was a quick and easy woodworking project and a great way to hone in on your bandsaw or scroll saw skills. 
Now I thought that the aluminum axle really wouldn't be noticeable since I was painting the plane, but it actually really pops against the black painted wheels. I'm really glad that I decided to put the racing stripes and black tips on this plane because it really makes it stand out and makes it something unique. That's the great part about this project is that you can customize these for any person that you want as a great gift or for yourself. Uh, out of the two, I would have to say that even though I love natural wood, this is probably my least favorite. I mean, it is a toy and I really like the detail in the painted one. I don't know what you're talking about. I like the stained one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have lots of other projects on our channel, so make sure to check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.